That was a very brief look at what uh, we've been up to. What we got up to yesterday. Now I've got to talk a bit quietly today. I've got an absolutely cracking headache. I've got a bit of a man cold, to be honest with you. Too I much, think uh, yesterday I didn't. I didn't drink anything yesterday. I've just sure? got a sore head, sore throat, and you need to feel really sorry for me because I've got a man cold. And as we know, men colds are a lot worse the women than women colds. So is that class sexist? No, I don't think so. I think men generally do get worse colds than women. But um, yeah, I'm feeling really rough today, so I'm trying not to shout and make too much noise. But yesterday was really, really good fun. That was some clips of us at um, Play Expo 
in Manchester. Which I and... still have the entry <laughs> things printed on my arm. You dirty little tyke, have you not had a wash? Last night in the shower, I scrubbed it for 10 odd minutes, right? It did literally nothing. I don't know what she used, but it must be pretty strong because it's <laughs> stuff not good. It looks like a bad tattoo. <laughs> We did have a brilliant time though to be fair. Now do you know what do you know what really made it for me? Let me tell you why it for me. The alcohol. Lots of things. I didn't have any alcohol. The best thing for me, well lots of things were really good, but what really stood out for me was for all these years I've been telling Josh how good the video arcades were back in the day because back today in day. back in the day that's what this channel's all about back in the day. So were you going to a an arcade today and what, what do you have? Do you have ticket machines? You have a couple of things like you know we yeah, have those you know coin tipping point that thing. show. You know you have those those, those trays that slide back and forth. Yeah. And you put a ten p in, and you hope to knock more money off, yeah. but you're just wasting money. Yeah. Just so you've got those. You've got grabber machines, and, and you get prizes. You've got, prizes like, you've got like iPhones, but don't actually have <laughs> iPhones in yeah. them. They're just, pretty dull, aren't they? Our case today are pretty dull. So I really wanted him to experience what '80s video arcades were like because they were an absolute buzz. So. With no prompting for me, what do you think of la wow. row upon row of wow. 80s video machines? Wow. There's a lot of smelly old 51 men there who love video games, and I thought, let's wait in, let's wait in line, five minutes later. Oh my god, I'm excited. Did your phone just got a headache. Did your phone just go? No. And I'm like, oh my god, I'm so excited. And it's like, what, was, what was the best game you played there? Um, if you had between, to pick one arcade between, machine. It's between, it's between, it's between. It's between the Rolling Thunder arcade machine, oh, or, brilliant, wasn't it? or the Afterburner machine, Star or Wars. and the Star Wars machine as now, well. Now I've been telling Josh for years how good Star Wars was because it's my probably. If somebody said to me, "You can have any arcade machine here. You have to pick one," I'd have to pick Star Wars. It would probably be Tempest or, or Star Wars, and strangely me, enough, both. Awesome. Atari games? They're both made by Atari. There were plenty there I loved. I mean, just to see Tempest Nemesis. again. Nem there was a Nemesis, there was a sit-in hydraulic outrun. Oh yeah, that was cool. How cool was that? You don't see those you anymore. You see Afterburner, you pull back on the sit and the whole machine goes yeah, up yeah. and then down yeah. and then sides and stuff. That was sick. I got sick. If I had a time machine, I'd just go back to 83, 84 and just... And we met Jeff Minter. Oh, Jeff, what a lovely, And he lovely got out bloke. his phone, he's like, this is Terry, this is Sean, this is... <laughs> Jeff is a wonderful guy and he showed us his his, his, collection of sheep. his collection of llamas and sheep and he's such a nice yeah. bloke isn't he? Yeah I mean Jeff has been in the industry since what, 90, the early 80s yeah. and he's still going strong still. instead of putting his feet up and thinking do you know what I've had enough <sighs> now <laughs> no one would blame you Jeff for doing that but do you know what he's yeah. still at it and we had a blast on. And he I was showing you. I spent 20 minutes on virtual reality um, Polybius. Yeah, he showed you how to play Tempest 4000, and I which threw up in the I mask. cannot wait for the new Tempest. Yeah. How I cool like is that? Oh, I like yes, the controller. I asked him about that controller. There's instructions on how to make that controller. Whoever makes that actual that that controller for Tempest 4000, you is. need to start selling that, mate, because that is awesome. I want one of those. But uh, yeah, we met Andy Hewson as well, who was showing us the finishing touches on uh, Hyper Sentinel, oh, that's cool. which and is I also got... in Jan January. Is going to be mental because we got Spectrum next, Tempest 4000, Hyper Sentinel, and something else. And also, I got a free bag of Space Raiders off it. Well done, Andy. You fed the boy. <laughs> so. What did you think of Star Wars Arcade Machine? Oh, that was sick. It's been ages Isn't it that. immense? <laughs> it's been ages on that. Until Dad said, <coughs> we have to go get some food. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was brilliant. And I think seeing all these wonderful people and talking to them... About things we love. About things we love. It's just superb, isn't it? I mean, yeah. there was one of the biggest collection of arcade machines I've seen in a very, very long time. We pinball machines, wow. Love we should have done two machines. days, actually. We yeah. should have stopped in a hotel and gone back. Yeah, to, for the second day, but it was lovely to meet Dean Hedger as well mm -hmm. from uh, Press Start to Play. Press Start to Join. I call them Press I Start to Play. I told you it's Press Start to Join, and you yeah. said no, 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 it's Press Start to Play. And when we got that, I was like, look at that sign. Yeah, <laughs> no, it's wonderful to meet Dean Hedger as well. Dean, great to be uh, to see you yesterday yeah. and have a chat and catch up because we've been communicating with Dean now for about three, four months, quite a few months, and uh, so it's great to finally yeah. catch up with those meet guys and person. see what they're doing. Mm. Yeah, and there's some there's some great great old retro yeah. independent game still being made um, despite yeah. Llama Soft and people like that there's a big big buzz around retro gaming still mm -hmm. and that's wonderful actually and we're going next week well that's don't if I'm be feeling that. better don't if be I can shake that. this this I was nearly said beep beep cold um, 
yes, next weekend is going to be wonderful. I'm really looking forward to that. That's the Rick. Re- the- that's the Kapow Retro Station, folks. So, um, yes, what what else did you love about it? We saw loads of old machines. Commodore 64. I'm Strat! Um, stop shouting, I've got a headache. Um, the Spectrum. Acorn Electro. I'm oh, Strat! Great to see the MSX UK guys as well. I need f- 12 foot how, high Game Boys. I know how many. Yeah, those massive Game Boys yeah. were fun as well. So, that's a quick look at what we were doing yesterday. So, leave you guys. So is there anything else you want us to mention? Also, I spent 10p on a pack of Haribo Tan Fastics that were 12 days out of date. Thanks for the lion bars, Jeff. They went down a treat as well, didn't they? No, Stu ate all the lion bars. <laughs> Stu ate all the lion So lion next bars. time we're going to be... Who no, 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 not next time. Who ate all the lion bars? Stu. <laughs> but so. all, all in all, we had a brilliant day. We met some wonderful people and played on some wonderful great games. classic old games that you just don't really see nope. anymore. No. Next weekend is Kapow Retro Station. Don't be sick for that. No, no, hopefully I won't. And Krypton's coming too. Yes, so looking check out forward his to. Well. Uh, yeah, that'd be good. Krypton's We did a collab with him actually, so if you want to check that out. Yeah, that's cool. So uh, thank you very much for joining us today, and we will catch well, you like soon. I'm going to face it. Bye! Take care, see ya, bye bye.